Welcome back. Uber and boat drivers in Nigeria want the pricing to be reviewed because the prices are no longer reflective of the cost they put in. They also want both companies to reduce the commission charged on rides from 25% to 10%. I am now being joined by the General Secretary, Amalgamated Union of Ab-Based Transport Workers of Nigeria, Ayuade Ibrahim, to discuss further. Many thanks for joining me, Ayo. All right, Ayo, can you hear me? Uh, okay, Ayo, you might need to unmute your device so we can actually hear you proper. But uh, I just want to find out uh, what's the situation. Yes, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I, I can hear you loud and clear. So can uh, you... Good morning. Yeah, good morning to you, Ayo Ade. Can you bring yeah. me up to speed as regards what's happening? I hear since yesterday uh, your union members have been on strike. Tell me more. Yes, we're on strike because of uh, these arc in petroleum that is a major uh, materials that we use in the ENA industry and um, we we ask the app companies to increase the price to 200 uh, percent and cut down their uh, uh, commission to to 10 percent uh, but since yesterday they have tried to blackmail us uh, that we want to uh, make our customer to pay more but that is not uh, uh, the correct uh, uh, argument here. And uh, for, for, the, uh, for the benefit of our customers, uh, I just want to educate us about the price mechanism in uh, gig economic app uh, companies. Uh, we, we have three factors that give uh, our companies uh, income uh, into the uh, uh, industry. Uh, we, the commission is just part of it. Uh, if you could reconnect, uh, many of us use Twitter, we use uh, Go, we use Twitter, we use Facebook, and they never ask us any money to pay for uh, subscription or what have you. And uh, the same thing in, in our platform. Uh, in, in Lagos State alone, we move one, more, more than 1.5 million riders a day. And that is to say we pull in uh, the crowd uh, into their website, and uh, we use our data. All this one that we are doing, they make money from it uh, through the advertisement and what have you. And if you look at it very well, even to collect the 10% is not out of order uh, for them to do. So these are the issues that uh, uh, we are trying to tell them that uh, there's no excuse for them uh, because every, every, every organization uh, have the way of doing the kind of uh, palliative method, uh, measure to make their worker uh, benefit uh, for, for, for this. And they have been blackmailing us uh, uh, since yesterday. In fact, most of the uh, new driver that want to join the, the, the platform, uh, the, 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 the boat uh, put it to their condition immediately that uh, they should denounce uh, the union before they can accept them to work uh, in their platform, which is against uh, Nigeria uh, mm. law, so freedom of association. Mm. So these are the, 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 the issues. Okay, before now, this is not the first time that, that uh, there's been um, an impasse um between um, uh, your um, union and, of course, uh, Uber and Boat, over time, you have had issues concerning this uh, talk of uh, commission uh, reduction and all of that. So far, when was the last time you engaged with them before this um, fuel hike? And uh, what have um, been the responses like over time? Yeah, we have engaged them um, several times, but the leverage in divide the rules of our industry uh, thank God to the Ministry of Labor and uh, the Federal Government of Nigeria that they approve our union uh, uh, January this year. So that's what, that, this one makes us to be one accord. So we have been writing a lot of letters to them uh, to let us have a roundtable. Instead of them to invite us to, to have a roundtable, uh, they write a petition to the Ministry of Labor uh, not to uh, accept our union or not to give us the union. So these are the areas they are trying to, 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 to do something that is against the uh, Nigeria constitution. And uh, this time around, what changed about our strike this time around to the previous one you are talking about? Uh, first thing we did, we wrote a letter to all the logistics firm, all the partners, and what have you that give a car to our member, both HP and the renter. HP means the higher purchase, uh, to forgive them through this time of strike so that they cannot able to meet up uh, with the other condition. Uh, they, they, they have. That is first method uh, we use. And um, the second method we use is that 
uh, all any driver in Nigeria, you can verify in Calabar, you can verify in Kano, you can verify everywhere. All of us are anonymously go on strike this time around. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, this is what make it difference. I, I, I think their heat uh, okay. uh, is is getting is getting higher to them. Speaking of heat getting higher, because um, I tried to find out um, just um, how far your members are, are going with compliance, and uh, I I tried one of or two of the apps, and I found that um, we could still actually get rides, uh, maybe on the island, I don't know, other parts of Lagos, because people are still using the app. So are you sure the strike is actually effective? How have, have you been able to ensure compliance? Because our members have been picking up um, riders. Yeah, thank you so much. You are very familiar to our industry. It's a technology-driven system that anybody can pick his car today and begin to, to, to drive. Most of the people you see or you saw on the road, they are new driver, they just registered uh, with our company. You know, our company take driver every minute, every second. Mm. So you can just see all those novices uh, on the road because they will think it is something that make them to, to have money. But you won't. For example, uh, we have a fuel of uh, uh, 15,000 and the use is to make 18,000. At the end of the day, you cannot take you cannot have any cobble in your pocket to your family. Uh, it's only you are working for the app company for their commission. So nobody will tell anybody when you hit the road and you see that at the end of the day, mm -hmm. you won't make any, any money for your family. You just work for the app company commission and what have you. Are so you, it's very clear. I, I just walk me through how it works uh, before uh, mm -hmm. this uh, fuel increase. Uh, ordinarily, uh, if you were to, how much do you expend on um, on fuel, and how much uh, do you uh, get in total rights at the end of the day, and how much do you pay as commission to Uber and uh, maybe uh, in driver um, boat and the rest of them? Yeah, thank you for um, for that questions. Uh, for example, let's pick an airport to uh, uh, Lucky Face One that uh, at least everybody will know the distance. Uh, we are talking about um, uh, 3,000 to 2,005. That is what normally they normally charge in a normal time. There's no search. And uh, before you can make that trip, uh, the, the several things we involved. Uh, the number one is your car. You have to follow your car and wear and tear. You have to remove money. You have to pay yourself. You have to eat. Uh, you have to move, move uh, the data that you use. And the, all those things added together is what we call operation cost. And uh, from operation cost of uh, 2,005 or 3,000 Naira, uh, you have already removed something like uh, 3,000 Naira out of it. Out of, uh, 3, out of 3,000 Naira right you take from airport to Lekki Phase 1. So remain 2,000 uh, 2, uh, um, uh, 500 now with you. Remove uh, 25 uh, to 30% uh, commission. So we are talking about now I'm not talking about uh, 1,200 or 1,300 in your pocket. Out of that 1,200 uh, in your pocket, remove the fuel. Uh, lucky for you, if you have a no-drop in uh, a top Miller bridge, that means you will spend up to uh, like uh, seven or uh, eight liters uh, to get to that level. At the end of the day, when you remove plus and minus, you will not get up to uh, uh, 2,000 error in your pocket. So uh, these are the these are the facts, and that, that that is the truth about it. And the one I said now is not when the uh, fuel was high, is when everything was normal. But now, when the fuel was high, uh, the fuel of 10,000 Naira for you in your tank is now jump up to uh, twenty five thousand to thirty thousand uh, naira, and uh, they just increase it, uh, the price with a uh, hundred naira. You can imagine somebody that carry a rider, uh, a customer from the airport to Lekki Face One at the rate of uh, uh, four thousand four thousand five hundred naira, and you buy the fuel of uh, five hundred naira per liter, and they use about uh, ten to eight 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 uh, liter. To, to get you to that uh, particular place. When you do minus or plus, you will see at the end of the day, uh, you will not get uh, anything from your pocket. Let me start a good example. Uh, yesterday, uh, day before yesterday, before we start a strike, I bought a foil of 15,000 Naira to my car. And um, when I walk, at the end of the day, I got 18,850 18, Naira, less than 18,000. At the end of the day, the commission, and uh, if I remove uh, the foil, of uh, uh, of uh, 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 ten thousand uh, fifteen thousand I bought remain about three thousand and uh, the hard company take about uh, four thousand five 
and uh, the, 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 the remaining money for me is uh, around two thousand naira. Uh, on my way, on my way to, to home, I have to buy something to eat since 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 the time I'm working. So at the end of the day, I have only five hundred naira in my pocket. All right. And they have pocketed they have pocketed four thousand naira as their own commission. Okay, so I understand all of that now, but in the wake of all of this now, Nigerians, everyone is actually groaning under the pressure of the fuel subsidy removal. Okay, your um, union is asking for 200% increment. That's, for instance, uh, if I, I took um, a, um, a ride from maybe the mainland to the island at about 3.5, right now it would be almost, uh, uh, not even 7,000, maybe over 10,000 naira. You know, ha have you factored in... Um, if uh, it would not reduce uh, maybe patronage on your part uh, from people who actually would um, want to seek other alternative. Thank you so much. When we say 200 uh, increment, it does not go to the customer directly. That is what people did not understand about all this uh, calculation in our industry. Mm -hmm. When we say 200 percent increment, if they remove uh, their commission, they bring it down like 10%, that one have already take care of 70 to 80 percent of how much uh, the rider or the customer will be paid and that is what they are running away for if they bring in down the commission automatically the money that the customer will pay will reduce and uh, the money that will come to the driver will increase so these are the things that people will not understand so if they bring down the commission that money you want will come down and you pay less and then uh, the driver will get higher these are the technicality around the fusing of the price uh, on, on on us. And, and I want you to know something concerned to all this uh, price mechanism that our company did. You see, the, there is one they call a uh, booking fees, and there is one they remove for the uh, legal state uh, for the road development, which is 20 naira. And all these things embedded together with the work that driver uh, have about the money that we are increasing money we are talking about. All these charges we still remove from there. So at the end of the day, it's not that total amount of money you are thinking that is coming to us that will come to us. That is the truth about all these things. They know how to do it. And uh, it, 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 maybe this is the time we begin to educate the, the, the customer about how this our company charge and remove all these charges. Those, the, that 20000 or 50000 that you are talking about is not supposed to come to the customer directly okay. if they're fixing all the uh, uh, mechanism we, we put in place to them. All right. Are you, so just before we go now, I need to understand them. Um, for how long do you intend to continue with the strike and uh, uh, what um, dispute um, resolutions um, have you put in place or are in place so far since yesterday? Yeah, we have, we have wrote them. Actually, the, this strike, the first this strike we end uh, in a week. By Friday, we do the, uh, the, the measurement of how we follow how effective Evaluation. the okay. strike is. Mm. Yes. So, and uh, we, we, we ask them to have a collective bargaining uh, to us oh, and then right. uh, recognize our union so right. that we can be in, uh, in the table and fashion out how the rider, the hard company, the driver, how we make money on this. We are open for discussions. They All are right. just running away because they are doing, you know, the, the business is supposed to be open for every mm -hmm. one of us to contribute. You just want to have input in the price mechanism uh, they are putting in place. Because most of the price mechanism they put in place is a very, very wrong because they are not the real uh, driver that is on the road. We can calculate everything for them and they will look at it and their commission too will be there. And they all make right. money, we make money, the customer pay less. That is what we are saying. All right, thank you so much. Um, I have been speaking with um, Ayode Ibrahim, General Secretary of the um, Amalgamated Union of um, Ab based Workers uh, over the one week strike um, that has been called upon since um, yesterday. Many thanks for sharing your thoughts with us on today's show. Thank you so much. All Happy. right, sir. Thank you so much. That's the size of the show for today. I am Justin Akadonye, Business Insights. We'll return to your screen again same time tomorrow. Bye for now.